Hello YouTubers, today I'm going to be going over a little quick demonstration video of the JVC DDE-V2 tool control unit and basically go over a little bit this one versus my last one that I had. My last soldering station I had for years worked pretty good but it would have to wait like a minute, two minutes to heat up to temperature sometimes. It's just painful waiting that long to for the sun iron to heat up. This other one that I have here heats up in two seconds to JVC. That's why I went with it. Uh, I'm just gonna go over a little bit of features, what it does, and the menu features here. So let's go to the menu features here. We go to station. So we got station. This is just like set, like the name, temperature, max settings, minimum, sound, date and time pin robot so it does have robot soldering so you can program it to start soldering at certain points station reset and then info this one's tools this one's going to tell you what holder that you have in we have the T245 in here and time or temperature adjustment and then sleep I don't mess with that, but the hibernation mode, I have that set to zero. So when the tip is in its holder, the iron, it will be turned off, which saving money on tips and no need to be burning your tip if it's going to be sitting there for long periods of time, which I have a tendency to do when I'm doing other jobs. So we'll go back here and this is the counter. So this is like basically telling you how many times you used your unit. Then we'll go over here. This is a like pedal, so if you have a pedal attached. Which I don't I always like using just the holder itself. Then you have graphics and then you have reset. You just reset it resets the device. Now I'm gonna go over to the graphics here. This is a nice feature. I know they put the screen on the newer JVC hot air station. Uh, that would be a nice feature seeing those that temperatures like that in a graphic, a different graphic pattern. But I do like the big buttons that they have here on this. So I don't know, giving up those big buttons to go to this little interface like this, I don't think that's kind of worth it. If they had this interface still over here and the big buttons, then that would be a nice design right there. But I don't know if people would really want to give up those big buttons. Let's go to these little inky dinky buttons here. <laughs> That's just my thoughts. So I'm going to go to the graphics here. And we got that chart here. I'm going to show you. I'm going to pull it out of it, hold the holder. And I'll tell you exactly when I'm going to pull it out. And I'm going to pull it out now. I have it set for 320, 3.30 I believe, 3.30. So, there it is, it's up to temperature already. I put it back in the holder. Now you're going to see it just climbing down, climbing down in the temperature. Now if I pick it back up in the... There we go. There goes the power, it's kicking it. Now I brought it back. Look at that temperature, it's already back up to temperature. Take it back down. Take it back out. I mean, just instantly. It's more or less, you're not pulling pads or components. Do it one more time. I mean, it's, it's nice equipment. So I'm just going to show you a little bit of the holder right here. This is the holder stand right here. This is the tip holder. You can remove them, but as you can see, I mean, they fall out sometimes. Look at it. It doesn't even snap in there. I mean, they don't work. They just fall right out. I don't get that design. They should fix that. That's not right. 
or else I just got a bogus stand or something, but yeah. Other besides that, like pulling off the tips is pretty decent. But you can see that just doesn't stay in place. That's supposed to hold them. So I'll come over here and I'll just pull out the big tip here. That's how it just sits in there. And you could adjust this too. So you, you know, put it up and down this way and back. So I'm gonna take the tip out here. I mean, that's nice. But see, look at the big tip's gonna actually fall out of there too. It won't even hold the big tip. Oh, maybe. Oh, we got lucky. I want to say the ball, the smaller ones definitely won't hold them, but sometimes it won't even hold these. That's the little holder. Then you have this that holds your cable. You can adjust it. Slip this down. Adjust the length. That's a nice design. I like the holder. It's got some weight to it. And you just hit the menu button back. And of course it's going to say we don't have a cartridge inside. I wonder if that's the message that you get when your cartridge doesn't work no more. Don't know. Haven't really went through tips like that. Maybe it's because I have them in the standby mode and it's not burning them up. But I hope you guys liked the video. Please uh, like, subscribe, and that's a review of the JBC soldering station. Thanks for watching.